Welcome to this exciting series of lessons in Dreamweaver, how to build a site the right way, how to use CSS, how to basically start thinking the way the software thinks. Now, if you're here, you're here for a reason. You're here to learn the right way. I've been doing this for 26 years. If there's a quicker, faster way to learn this stuff, I'm the person to go to. I teach every single Apple, Adobe, WordPress, Technique, Trick, SEO, Google, I do it all. I've been doing this for a long time, totally self-taught. Do I make mistakes? Not in my teaching, but I've made mistakes in trying to do things, and that's how you learn from your mistakes. So I'm gonna share with you an experience that you probably never had before. I'm gonna involve you in the thinking process. We're gonna build a very sophisticated website with responsive design, CSS3, media query rules, but we're gonna do this without hand coding, one step at a time. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is tell Dreamweaver where our website is going to be kept. This is something called defining the site. Now, of course, this can be any place on your computer. I'm gonna be very, very simple and put it on my desktop. Okay, if you're on Windows or Mac, you have a desktop. So from the File menu, File New, we're gonna make ourselves a new folder. Now, I'm simply gonna type in the word websites because Dreamweaver can manage many, many websites. You can manage five, 10, 15, 30. Okay, so inside that website folder, we're gonna create a folder for the website that we're about to create, and that's gonna be called our root folder. Our root folder is basically the homepage directory for your website. I'm gonna double click that folder, and inside this folder, file new, anything about a files under the file menu, file new, and to save some time, I'm just gonna paste the name of my website. Dreamweaver cssclasses.com. Now, I typically don't put the .com or the .net. So here's what I need to do. I simply told the computer, the software, I just basically created a folder, nothing to do with Dreamweaver at this point. I'm simply creating a place to put my stuff. So on the desktop, I have a folder called Websites. Inside that folder, I have a folder called Dreamweaver CSS Classes, because that's the name of my domain name. So I'm gonna close that. So now I'm gonna go into Dreamweaver and tell Dreamweaver to define that folder as my site definition. More importantly, the root folder of my site. Therefore, when I do FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, you know, in case you're on a game show and you get asked that question, it's very important to know that. So I'll be able to share with you how to FTP to upload files, download files, and track your files all through Dreamweaver. Now, for those of you that are new to the web, that's great, new to Dreamweaver, that's good too. But you probably have a lot of bad habits. I'm gonna teach you the right way of how to think, how to get things done, how to save time, and basically how to charge a lot of money for your work, because time is money. So here we are at Dreamweaver. Now, I'm using Dreamweaver Creative Cloud because that's the most current version of software. Don't waste your time learning old software. Now. In this video series I'm about to share with you for free on YouTube, pretty much everything that I'm gonna share with you in the beginning, you can do in the older versions of Dreamweaver. But I highly suggest, if you're gonna get serious about this and make yourself some good money, don't learn old software. Invest into current tools, just like a surgeon, just like a carpenter. They don't go and buy old drills and old hammers and old scalpels. They want the newest and greatest stuff. So. Here's how the software thinks. What we need to do is define a site. So software, window-based software, window-driven software, whether it's Mac or PC Windows, is based on choices. Software simply comes down to choices. That's how you learn, that's how you think about the software. So based on these choices, how are we gonna define a site? Well, logic would tell me I have a menu called site. So site new, new site. We're gonna get this dialog box. Now again, to save some time here, I'm just gonna paste in the name of the site. Again, I don't put in the .com or the .net. I simply put in the name of the site. So now Dreamweaver needs to know where that file is kept, because guess what? Dreamweaver is not psychic. You're the intelligent person, okay? You need to tell Dreamweaver where your files are kept. Now, I just wanna play devil's advocate here for a second. Yes, you can put these files any place you want on your computer, but if you go ahead and move them, then you're gonna to have to go repath this to the file of where it's kept. Dreamweaver is not gonna know that you changed your file path. So if you're not sure, do it right to begin with and you'll be way better off, okay? I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna navigate my way to the desktop. On the desktop, notice what this says, choose root folder. I'm gonna double click this folder. 
I'm not going to choose because the website folder is not my root folder. This is my root folder. The folder where the website's going to go, that's my root folder. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to hit save. Now, the advantage of what I just did here, Dreamweaver will now keep track of every file, every image, every QuickTime movie is part of that root folder. All files from this point forward have to be kept and stored inside the root folder. Otherwise, your website's not going to work. Now, for those of you that come from a print background, maybe Quirk Express or InDesign or even PageMaker from 20 years ago, you really never had to pay attention to file management. Well, that's because in the web applications, you're building an application to work on somebody else's computer. That computer, of course, is the web server that hosts your website. So therefore, you need to basically organize your files in such a way to keep track of them. And Dreamweaver does this for you. So what we just learned here, before we move on to our next video, is how to define your site. Now again, I'm working in Dreamweaver CC. Pretty much everything I'm going to share with you today in this free series of videos on YouTube can be done in the older versions of Dreamweaver 2. But like I said before, it makes total sense to have the most current version. One of the things I really like about the CC version, which is really helpful, most of us have a home computer and a work computer or a home computer and a laptop. So rather than have to resync your files to your different computers, the advantage of the Creative Cloud software versions of Dreamweaver and all the Adobe products is you can actually sync them to all your products here by clicking into Sync Settings. Now, I'm using the Creative Cloud version and I'm working with what's called Expanded Mode. Basically, this will show more or less of your comp, it will compact or expand your palettes. So that's the only difference there. Now, since I have to be able to have a larger screen, I'm going to go to the expanded mode. Okay, so in our next video, I'm going to share with you how simple it is to set up a, a website, responsive design website, because we're going to do it right from the beginning, how to do this whole thing using no hand code. So stay tuned.